Hi everyone, this is Karen Newman and this is the Saturday Human Colony Hukalo webinar. Our channeler today is Jim Charles and today in the room we have Amanda, Christine, Gabriel, Ian, James, Jay, Leela, Marlene, Salish, Sheer, Stephanie, uh, Typhus or David and myself, Karen Newman. And then Jim, and who in your room, who do you have? I have Angela and Barbara. Oh, you have today. a quiet room today. I have a quiet room today, oh, yes. Which right. is all right. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you just came back uh, from the uh, Sedona workshop. How did that go? Wonderful. We had a great, great time. Uh, there was a lot of really wonderful stuff that happened. We went and did field trips on the in the uh, the mountains. We saw the medicine wheel, the what the what is it called? The stupa. A stupa. Yep. We went to the the Buddhist stupa. Oh, nice. We had so many things happen. There was healing done, a lot of training. A lot, everybody we had a really good time. We just were just having fun. Oh, perfect. But a lot of training. Next and then ne our, no. the next uh, the next workshop is going to be on August what 16th August 16th and it will be at the first uh, site that we did Dansville uh, those of you that were there we'll send out the information later but okay it's so still everyone yeah. New York yeah so everyone continue to check the website which is hukalo.org and today's uh webinar is a paid webinar for hukalo members we'll be watching the youtube chat for questions but if you would like to be in the room uh you can uh, join hukalo and for ten dollars uh, a month you always have access to the paid webinars and some other things that go on within human colony so be sure to check out the website hukalo.org okay i'll let you take it away jim all right hello everybody it's a beautiful day here today it's not supposed to be extremely warm but we're taking advantage of the heat in the room so um there were several requests for people uh to come through today you have that list karen yes i do um the list was first lakesh then uh virilian part of the um ashtar command then ganesh uh, Commander Corton, also from Ashtar Command, Takur, Warwick from the Council of Nine, and Elijah. Very good. Others. Anybody else have any requests? There was one online, and I can't remember right now. You forgot. Uh, the Angel, Angel uh, Gab Gab Gabriel. Gabriel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Angel Gabriel. That's good. The second okay. we and someone just said Yeshua, please. Yeshua, right? Okay, and Ramsey's the second. I forgot that one. Oh, Ramsey's the second. Okay, yes, who yes. may or not be associated with, uh, <laughs> with Moses. <laughs> We're okay. we want to know true history. Okay, perfect. Okay. I know Elijah is coming for just a second at the beginning. He already said that. So um, I don't know what he's going to talk about, though. I never know until he starts talking. That's right. <laughs> and then you listen. <laughs> okay. Um, have a great time. If there's any uh, thing that you need from me, please let me know. And um, uh, we'll start now. Any? Uh, let's start with a blessing. Anybody want to start with a blessing? Barbara does. Barbara? Barbara's. Anybody out there want to do a blessing? Okay, I might do a new one. Hopefully, it's uh. Hold on. Anyone in the uh, Google room? Okay. <laughs> Let all your energies be focused on the power of God and all the things that will manifest from him. Remember, he is the leader and the guide. He is the love and the honor that will, you will take with you on your journey. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Da 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 da
Ta 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 ta. Let the pathways from the heavens come to you and shine upon you in a way that it never has before. Open yourself up to other realms and other worlds because they open up your entire life and entire world to new ideas and new places. Okay. Was that AI? I don't know. Um, already. Um, any more blessings or should I start? I think you, you're good to go. Okay, very good. Let's see who comes for, well, Elijah's coming first, but I don't have any idea after that. Hold on. Have a wonderful session. Thank you. Much love to you. Greetings, I am Elijah. <clears throat> Greetings, Elijah. I've come to talk to you about your belief systems. All things are possible. During this time when the earth energies, and there are so many energies from different places coming to your planet, it becomes difficult to believe that all things are possible. Remember that because it is true. You must learn that your mission is possible. And even though parts of it may seem like they will never get done or they are too far away, all things are possible. God has said this many times in the Bible, that all things are possible to those who believe in him. You must put your eyes on God, not to be use him as a crutch, but to use him as a guide, to use him as your strength in some ways as you move forward. These energies that you encounter that knock you down, that pull you away from the things that you need to be focusing on, they are uh, the energies that are there to disrupt but they are also some natural energies that have come to change how Mother Earth works in some ways. Magic is returning in a par powerful way, but in a positive way. Remember that the negative magics have been around for many thousands of years, but now the positive magic will have a time to shine and, and perk up and show what it can do in this new realm of understanding. Now, there are those out there that said, if you even talk about magic, magic is evil and dark and different, but it is not true. There is positivity in magic and there is negativity in magic, just so as if there is positivity in all the things of the earth and negativity in all the things of the earth. Remember not to judge the things that people say until you know what you are talking about. Many people judge without, without thinking because the fear in their lives tells them that it's unable to be, they cannot do that because it's something they were taught against, something that was that is negative and something that they cannot do, but they do not know anything about it, but yet they reject it immediately. Do not reject positivity. Look at it. Study it. And make sure you know what you're doing when you move forward. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, you will move in wrong ways. So you need to bring your eyesight into the right focus of what is happening and what you are looking at. I love all of you, and all of you have missions to accomplish. And all of you have times with, of doubt and misunderstanding. It is just the way it is. 
humans, Pleiadians, Syrians, Octorians, no matter what species you are from, there will be doubts that come to your mind and things that need to be clarified. But don't just look away because you are afraid, but look at the subject matter so that you know what you're dealing with. All things are possible, which means also magic is possibly good. Also, that love is coming to this planet in a way that it never has come before. Remember, keep everyone in a positive light. Even those that you do not see in a positive light, they can be part of the goodness that you have for yourself and part of your friendship circles or part of your support systems. All things are possible. Do not look down on others because that is looking down on yourself. And many of you know that lesson already. I heard one of you say to someone, if I point a finger at someone, three fingers points back at me. Because that is the way that sometimes it works. Remember, to be true to yourself. Remember that healing is in the truth. Ah, many people say, yes, but I've been looking for a healing for a long time, and it's not come. Focus yourself on the light, and God will provide that which is necessary for you. If it is not necessary for you be, to be completely healed, to do your work, then you must move forward. Look at, the, look at Paul. Paul had infirm, infirmities in the flesh, but God did not take him away from those things. But yet... On the road to Damascus, he opened his eyes, and that was a miracle. There are several things that you must understand, that they are part of this world and part of this dimension. And I know I'm all over the place today, but I just wanted to say all things are possible. Keep that in mind. Do not give up on your mission because you feel downtrodden or feel that things are not going your way, everyone encounters these things. Do not be downtrodden. Try to keep your thoughts in a positive realm. Look for positivity. If, you, if where you are is negative, move to a positive place to do your uh, meditations. Go to a coffee shop or a library, or a metaphysical group, or somewhere where you can feel that positivity and not feel so depressed about what's going on around you. Remember, remove yourself from the negativity and the, it will help for you to feel much better. Is there any questions? Oh, I, I shouldn't have even ask that. I should go and let someone else come in. But if there is one or two questions, I will answer them. Barbara. Hi. Joshua, hi. I've been fighting my whole life to open up my heart. There's something in there that's blocking it, and I don't know what it is. And I really want to feel that. All right. But I want to feel that she is saying that her she feels that like, that her heart has been blocked all her life. I'll tell you what that is. Part of it is from a past life where you were kept away from all the things that you loved, but part of it is from this life. You feel some unforgiveness for yourself and for others. And that is a very hard thing to deal with. You can, it's hard to forgive others if you don't feel like you're forgiven yourself. You feel like there has been some times when you could have been better, things could have gone better, and you feel perhaps partly uh, to blame for that. And you need to forgive that within yourself. Also, blame has been put on you that it wasn't even yours at times, and you've accepted that. 
you need to forgive that and the people around that have uh, hurt you. But first, you need to forgive yourself. I see that within you, and I see that within one of your past lives. And you need to forgive yourself. And that is where your freedom will come. And the joy will rush in after you know that you've been forgiven. God has already forgiven you. Everybody else in the universe that has passed on have, has forgiven you of everything you've ever done. Forgive yourself. It's not easy sometimes. You're welcome. That is a problem with many people in the world today. They have unforgiveness in their heart towards other people or themselves. And, be, and until they get rid of that, they will be blocked in their fullness. They will be blocked from the things that God has for them in their fullness. But once they rid themselves of that guilt, that shame, and forgive those that have put that on them or have caused some problems, they will still struggle with feeling that they are not fully ready or feel that there is something wrong. Any other questions? And then I will go. I don't see any questions for you. Very well. I will take off. And um, it is good to speak to you. I hope that my words find your heart and uh, plant, they, the words will plant themselves there so they may grow in you and you may understand fully what is needed in your life. Thank you, Elijah. Much love to you. Namaste. Much love. Thank you. Greetings. I'm Takur. I'm only here for a brief time as well to give you a little report on the Earth. There is many volcanoes and earthquakes happening at this time, and the west coast of the United States is very vulnerable at this moment. We are working to help that, but deep, deep down at uh, many mile points uh, on the west coast, there are tectonic movements taking place. And these have got to be stifled and calmed so that there is not a major event. We are working our best to make sure that this does not happen. Also, we are working on the wobble of the earth. There is uh, some chance that this will be calming down soon. And we have calmed it down a little. But we have other help from other species that are going to bring their technology into um, uh, alignment with our own so that this can stop. You have noticed how the weather has gone from cold to, cold to warm to warm to cold, back and forth rather quickly. And that is because the wobble had gotten a little worse. And the, and the jet stream is trying to catch up with all with the movement of the planet. At this point, it should start to even out within the next few weeks. Um, and we will see a change. And it might be different than what you expect. But it will be a change. And more consistent weather will come. Now, another thing is that with these kinds of wobbles comes other kinds of storms. And wind is also very prevalent with these kinds of things. So you will understand that there will be some wind gusts. If you haven't noticed them already, they are there. Any questions? Yes, Christine has a question for you. Blessed be Takar. It is greetings to you as well, Christine. Um. I was wondering, um, I felt or I, fe I feel that I've been asked 
or um, been guided to move here to Central Oregon. And I was wondering, um, because I'm surrounded by the Cascades, um, yes. are they um, going to come alive again? Or the, the volcano? The Cascades are already coming alive, yes. Okay. Because but you're right about. It will take a while. There are many things that have to happen in this era, the Enlightenment era, the Ascension era, whatever you want to call it. People have different views of what the Ascension will bring and the Enlightenment will bring. But uh, instead of explaining it over and over again, let us just watch it and be aware of it. Okay, because... Uh, Central Oregon, or where I am, um, under even one inch of uh, dirt is nothing but volcanic rock. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. And it this is, is a, I'm sorry. This is a dangerous area for right now in some ways, but you have protection. Thank you. Um, you're right about the wind. The wind is incredibly cold. And it's uh, this is the first winter that I've lived here for the last seven years that we've had no snow. <laughs> I mean, the snow came, but it was gone soon, you know, in days. Yeah, there's many changes happening in the weather front because yeah. of the wall of the earth and because of uh, the axis change. We had to move the axis back a couple of different times during the last several years, but not a great deal moving it back. But the thing is, moving the axis at all does cause weather change. When it moves off of its axis, it causes weather change. Moving it back also causes weather change because the revolution is actually what caused the wobble because the axis went off and then we pushed it back a little bit and that caused a slight wobble. And then it came forward a, a just a touch again, which increased the wobbling of the earth. And so we're dealing with that now. Thank you, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oops, and that was the wind. Blessed be. Blessed be. Does anyone else have a question? All right. Karen is okay. Have... Yes, hello. Oh, hi, Tucker. This is Ian. Uh, I do have a quick question for you. How are you? I'm so glad you could join us. Uh, with regards to the, uh, the release of the volcanic energy and the tectonic plates and the energy related to those plates shifting and releasing does all of that have to do with uh gaia herself and is that energy necessary is it necessary that, that energy be released and is it in everyone's most best interest that it's contained or is it something that gaia needs to release it's an, that's an excellent question. Gaia needs to release some of this energy, but it does not have to be catastrophic. Now, um, the way that things are moving, the Earth energies have changed, as you know, from the different blood moons and energies that are coming from sun and moon energies, uh, coronal mass ejections, and the effects that has on the moon and it, the effects it has on the planet Earth and also Venus and many of the other uh, planets, it, it causes a great deal of change to happen on Mother Gaia and within her. And yes, some of that energy does need to be released. There is no question. That is what we are working on, releasing it more safely. Of course, there's going to have to be some earthquakes but we do not want them to be as catastrophic as they once could have been. And I say once could have been because they are far overdue at this point, many, many years overdue as well. And we have released some of that energy in other ways, but there is still a great deal of energy five and 10 miles below the surface that is happening at this time. 
it is much harder to work with that energy because it is so deep within your planet. And Mother Gaia is also trying to help us with some of this, uh, some of the effects of this. So therefore, yes, some of it does have to be released, but we are trying to work on it that it is not released in a way that is uh, so deadly that it, many people must die. But we are trying to release it so that it will only be a, a, a much smaller event. Okay, great. Thank you very much for answering. And along those lines as, as well, is this energy release with Mother Gaia, is, is any of that related to uh, mankind's activities and yes. in a sense there, anger release or or just trying to rebalance to do with, yes there is some that is caused by humanity itself yes you're absolutely correct but there a lot of it is caused by weather pole shifts uh changes in the earth uh um elements in some ways the the change in the weathers and the uh, coronal mass ejections, all these things play a part in what is happening. Everything plays a part in what is happening. Great. Thank you very much, Tukur. Much love. You are welcome. Thank you. Hi, Tukur. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Amanda has a question for you. Amanda. Hello, Tukur. Greetings. This is a really this is a really quick question. I heard a video yesterday that stated Earth is now considered part of the Galactic Federation domain. Is this true? Uh, they are hoping that humanity will be part of the uh, Federation soon, but they have not made the official move into the Federation. Let me explain what what that would mean. That would mean that people would be able to contact uh, freely uh, the aliens in the, in, the, in the galaxy, in the solar system, and the people are not free to do that, except through channeling and through NASA and through the secret space programs, etc. It's not yet a freedom that everybody has, um, but they are looking at, at becoming part of the neighborhood so to speak but it has not really been official it's not really uh, people's awareness are not there quite yet but we're hoping that this kind of announcement this kind of information will uh, make people think about it and make people move toward this kind of action now Having said that they are already part of the Federation, some people will move to speak or to be part of that. And that's a wonderful, positive thing. And I believe that's why they did that, even though the official actions have not been taken. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you very much, Tucker. Love and You're love. welcome. Thank you. Ashir uh, has a question. No, is it Leela or Sheer? No, Leela's last. Sheer. Go ahead, Sheer. I've lost good drugs. control again. Hello, Tukur. Greetings. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Um, and how are you? I'm fine. I just finished my midterms. So Very good. Yeah. Um, I have uh, two questions. One of them is that my mom's uh, friend is um in recovery she's been in the hospital on and off on different things and if it is possible to send her some kind of healing what is her name her name is rivka and my mother just visited her uh, this day so you could see where she went and who is she very good earth energies stop us from giving as much healing energy as we would like at this point but we can send some energy to her remember earth energies go up and down in different places uh, as we we continue to move forward but they will eventually calm down but right now they go up and down and we they're 
not predictable. And in some ways, in some ways they are predictable and other ways they aren't. Depending on uh, where you are on the earth and what kind of storm fronts are heading your direction, that also affects the earth's, uh, how the earth reacts. But uh, at this point, you're in a fairly calm area. So we can actually perhaps help her a little more. And what is your other question? Uh, my other question is about a subject related to magic that no one mentioned. It's uh, about potions. Yes. Well, as we perceive potions, it's actually alchemy, herbology, and magic coming together. My question is, is that something of the near future or our future in any way? Yes, but it's not, uh, it's not as close as you might wish. There are some magic classes coming up, some white magic and some revelations about what magic can do and how to use it in some elementary ways. Those are more advanced thought processes that you brought up, alchemy and uh, potions and things of that nature. They do exist and will come into their own, but not right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel very strongly about it. I have no idea why. I understand that. And there is some magic classes coming online. The first ones are not so uh, not so informative, but there's uh, some that are coming that will be much more informative and much more practical. Thank you very much. And it's so great to see you and speak with you. And so Thank much you. love to you. Much love to you as well. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Gabriel has a question. Gabriel. Hello, Hello Tucker. Greetings, Gabriel. And I, I miss you so much. I haven't really felt anything from you guys for a long time. I, you've been going through a lot of different changes. Once you settle into these new energies, you will be able to feel us again. You will be able to feel uh, Kalish and uh, Lakesh and all the others that you are familiar with. And, of, co of course, those from the ship. Because I feel blocked in my head for connecting. Yes. Remember what Elijah said, all things are possible. Unblock yourself. Find the, the answer to why you feel blocked and then remove it. Or have it removed. Or find out from someone if you cannot find out for yourself. Okay. Say say hi to Kalish and Lakesh from me. Absolutely. Okay, Lila has a question, Tucker. Lila. Good morning, Lady Takuo. Greetings. I I react extremely to weather changes. Sometimes I'm completely knocked off, like I have to sleep the whole day and I cannot do what I'm supposed to do. What is the reason for my reaction to the weather and if there is any remedy to make it better? The weather actually affects the Earth, uh, the Earth's surface. And the Earth's surface is going through many changes. As I have said, right now there's more volcanoes and earthquakes than there has been in many hundreds of years. This also f affects humans in many different senses. You will feel tired, you will feel fatigued. Some people will be over energetic. Other people will feel like they need to lay down. It does work through the weather as well. But what you can do to help yourself is this. Um, whenever you're feeling that you're very tired, uh, go somewhere that is away from the energy in your home because sometimes a, a buildup of uh, earth energy can come in that place. And if you go somewhere more public, uh, the energies move around more. People are moving around and keeping that energy flowing, whereas in your home it can become very stagnant and, and stable. So it makes you want to just sleep. But... Um, if you go somewhere that has more energy, it will help you to wake up and help you to 
uh, be able to do the things you need to do. Thank you. You're welcome. And Marlena has a question. Marlena. Hello, Hello Ticker. Greetings. Um, greetings. Uh, my first question is because concerning the water levels, um, yes. you were talking about the East Coast and uh, spring is just around the corner. There's going to be a lot of snow melting and a lot going on. Um, what will happen? I feel um, that there's a lot of uh, related issues that will be happening in our, our corners of the world. Of course, it will be gradual. It will not happen suddenly, as, as you know, as the Arctic's Arctic Circle melts as the, as spring comes and things are melting. Yes, there will be water levels that rise. There are also those uh, certain species that are trying to remove water from the surface of the planet because they actually need it for their planet and they need it for their survival. And so this is a, a perfect opportunity for them to help to balance your ecology, but it is not going to be nearly enough. Uh, they are not going to take nearly enough to prevent uh, flooding and things of this nature. But as I said, this will happen gradually. Um, there may be f several inches, three or four inches, that will rise, but this will not cause the problems that it will it, uh, 10 years in the future when it's r risen a foot or, a t or three feet. Oh, I understand. Yes, I, I, what you were talking about, I saw um, aliens taking water from our planet. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will close on this subject. We can speak about it individually. Uh, the second question, if I may, is in uh, related to uh, health, uh, recent health issues that I've had that I'm pulling out of right now. Um, can I ask, or is that too personal? Uh, my my system totally broke down within 24 hours. Uh, totally. Um, and right now I'm dealing with being very, very weak and everything that goes with that. The earth energies attacked you or was it an attack of some other kind? Well, this is what I'm... This is the purpose of my question, please. <laughs> yeah. I, I Let me answer this. I will check that for you really quickly. It sounds like you were attacked yes. and brought, brought to a lower point. Yes. Are you recovering well, or is it not a good recovery at this time? No, it, it, it's not. Uh, well, uh, it's not the type of recovery that I'm used to. <laughs> let's put it that way. I I'm used to just, you know, flipping over and getting back on my feet and all the help from all from everybody. Uh, but this particular uh, quote unquote attack has been uh, pretty serious. Um, we will send an infusion, but first I will do a scan on you. And you. please sit very still. They have already taken your vibration and they're going to do a scan to see um, what it is we can give you that will help you with your recovery. And it will also give us an idea of what attacked and how, that, how we can deal with that as well. Please sit very still. And... Um, they're doing the scan now. While we are, while they are doing that, is there any other questions that you have? Uh, thank you, you've answered my question so far, thank you. All right, I will okay. let you go and I will tell you already that, oh, the, the scan is complete. And when they are done looking at your scan, they will send an infusion, but it will not be till you are going to sleep after you were asleep for about an hour, they will send the infusion. You should feel much better in the morning. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, there is a question in the YouTube. There's two questions in the YouTube if you have time. Um, one of the okay. questions is uh, asking about Q Anon or Q. Q -anon. And if, if and the information that's being put out on the 4chan boards and all those things is correct. 
not all of it is correct. You must be careful about these things. There are those that put their own thought processes in some of the channelings and some of the information. Remember, if people have do not are not aware that they are putting themselves into the channeling, it can be dangerously it can dangerously change the information because it can come out more negatively and more um, critical, or it can come out with their opinion attached to it instead of what was meant to come through completely. Now, there is some good information there. I would have to go through it, of course. We do not have time to really go through all the different informational boards. There are hundreds of them out there. But let me tell you this, just be cautious and resonate with those that information that is there. If it does not resonate with you, then question it and find out why. Okay, thank you very much. And then there's a question from Don. He wants to know, uh, what can you say about the coming storm from the omniversal creation to the Milky Way central sun, then on to our star soul? We are aware of it, and it, it is a massive storm. Uh, it will affect Earth eventually, but not for um, about a hundred years. It's or, or even longer, but it will it will uh, affect the entire galaxy uh, eventually. But at this point, it will not affect Earth for at least um, hundred a couple hundred years because it's not going to be able to sustain. The, it's uh, uh, current energy for much longer. Uh, Don, are you hearing that? Um, I believe he is. He's in the chat. Um, I, I would. It's an interesting phenomenon, and it, there's a lot of different information about it. But you must understand that uh, it being so far away from your solar system. It will not affect your solar system at this time uh, for uh, quite a while. He said he answered yes. He he was hearing you. All right. Okay. Yeah, very good. Thank you. And 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 Alex uh, Oren just made a comment that uh, Roxanne Swainhart uh, channeled the sun recently, and it said the same thing. Not in our near future. So. Correct. Yes. Okay. Thank it you. It is true that this storm is violent and is it is huge. But it is so far away, and it is losing energy at this time, but it will affect the center of the galaxy quite uh, strongly. But that energy will not reach you for a, at least uh, 150, 200 years. I may or may not be here. <laughs> the, uh, Ian has a question, if, if time allows. Yes. Hi, Dekur. Uh, this is Ian. Um, let me know if you don't remember our a previous discussion that you and I had one on one regarding uh, uh, physical issues I was having yes. related to outside attack. Um, yes. And so I thought since you were doing a quick scan <laughs> on the other individual, because lately I've gotten into another spell of, of All right. I'm I've had days disappear again. Um, and some other uh, neurological seizure related activity. And I wonder if, it, if I've been subjected to other recent ex extraterrestrial attacks. Sit very, sit very still and they will scan you. And if we need to send something to you, we will. I will get in touch with you later, um, either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, thank you. But I see, um, I see by the even the beginning of the scan that there is something amiss with your system. So yes, we will send something for that, and I will look and see what it, it what is actually going on. Okay, we'll type to base later. Thank you very much. Very good. Barbara, uh, I'd like to ask a question for my friend. She has Parkinson's disease. Yes, Parkinson's. She's going through some difficulties. And one of them is she's hallucinating a lot about beans and stuff like that. And it's really upsetting her, bothering her. Is this from the medication, from the Parkinson's? Yes. 
Um, it is affecting, uh, it has some neurological effects, the medication that she is taking because um, she is sensitive to that, that part of the medication. So therefore, yes, uh, I would ask her to be careful with uh, some of these uh, medications. Okay. Ask her doctor to look into maybe changing the kind of medication that she is using. This is not a good thing to have hallucinations. Mm -hmm. It's uh, affecting part of the uh, mind center that it should not be affecting. I have a couple other questions. Yes. Now, my soul origin, as you said, was in another universe far, far, far away. Yes. Is there some way that I can connect to them? Not at this time. Perhaps in the near future, we can get a hold of someone from a different um, a different universe or whatever, but at this time, the, those connections are very small. And another one I've been working on raising my vibration some more. Has it gone higher? It was 4.7. It is about the same, okay. but it is moving up. Okay. Remember to be, to not look down on your uh, one friend there. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. We have a lot of questions in the YouTube chat, but I didn't know if you wanted to move on. If they if they are important questions, I will answer them. They could really go to anyone, so it's it's really up to you. Very well. Would you like someone else? It's it's also up to you. We're always happy to keep you to cur here. Oh yeah. I will stay Marina, for a little actually, longer. sorry, uh sorry. Eva has a question and so does Marlene. They popped back in when I was looking on another chat. Go ahead. It's, yes, it's Eva. And okay. um, yes, I will take their questions. Okay, Eva. Thank you, take care. And thank you so much for your teachings. Um, two, two days ago, I broke up with my uh, boyfriend, which was advised by Archangel Gabriel. Um, so I am right now really affected negatively by it as well as my question is, you know, I kind of worry about the person who at this point just hates me. So um, my question is, do you see possibility? I know that I will move on and I will be fine, but also do you think um, he will be able to forgive me for it yes of course um can you do see it actually let me tell you what this is all about this is for you to come into greater positivity you realize that releasing this the relationship was not a positive one in many ways and it was he was dependent on you for emotional security in many ways as you understand but he needs to be uh, secure in his own mind and therefore you needed to release him for his own good and for your own because he was uh, sucking a, some of your energy as well but remember this there are reasons for everything uh, they would have not have told you to uh, release this relationship if there was not something more positive to be gained in the future and i see that you are looking and a little confused about what that could be but just thank god for the future that is coming that will be much more positive you have dealt so much with dealing with negativity and fear the fears in your life have been overwhelming now is a chance to do a, an internal look to see what needs, what you need to do to be more ever, to be more yourself, to be more complete. Because there are parts of you that you don't even know yet. So do an internal scan. Think about who you are and where you fit in, what makes you happiest and what resonates with you. And 
uh, there will be those that will be around you to to support that. Okay, thank you. Um, I also have a question about um, there were two negative reptili reptilian beings who were giving me negative thoughts, but I started liking them, and they had to be replaced as as I was turning them into positive. But now they got replaced by some uh, really creepy being reptilian who is honestly he has much harder energy. Um, yeah. You seem to attract reptilian energy. There's something about it that makes you, that you're very curious about. There are some very positive reptilians in your life, but there is also now you're you're curious about these but now you you're not so curious about these very negative ones i will uh send uh some help to you to release uh them from your uh area thank you so much i would really appreciate it because this one is much harder well, to have yes it's also affecting how you feel about the breakup it's also affecting how you feel about other things this reptilian that you're talking about that's harder is also affecting everything in your positivity realm. So it's making you even, it's making you think negative thoughts about pretty much everything. So we're going to have to take care of that. Thank you. I am infinitely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I understand that. Marlena has a question. Yes. Tigger, thank you for answering my question. Um, I'm very grateful. Um, Earth moved through the Orion Belt through on most recently, and uh, does that have, have anything to do, or what are the positives of this movement of the Earth through that constellation, please? Yes, there are many positive effects. Remember, Orion used to be a warrior area. But now it is a much more peaceful area than it has ever been before. Um, the wars are now at the far end of your galaxy, too, just off to the right. But um, the Orion Belt is now um, a very peaceful area, and the Orion, Orion Council has been giving much great advice to the peoples and species in that area. Now... Um, having moved through that area, you are uh, going to experience some of their higher level of uh, vibrations. They have worked on it for many hundreds of years and are now uh, able to help other species rise. And this is the purpose of it. They are becoming active in your uh, ascension process. Thank you. Thank you. That is all for me. Very well. Okay, Christine has a question. Greetings yes. again. Um, <clears throat> my arthritis, um, though I have no pain, thank you very much, um, is starting to affect my um, joints in my hand. Yes. And I got these uh gloves that are supposed to be um with copper enhanced or something are they really effective uh, to some extent but what needs to be happen is the deposits between the joints needs to be removed um what happened is you've had these arthritic uh condition for a while and there's a buildup of calcium and other minerals between the fig fingers so that it causes them not to be able to bend, bend properly. So they this material, although you're not experiencing any pain at this time because we took that away, but we have we have to start slowly removing the calcium buildup or whatever it is, whatever kind of material that is between the fingers. I believe it's calcium. But, um, or at least mostly calcium. And we have already started to do that, but it is a slow process. It must be removed. And from this distance, 
it we have to be very very accurate what which what to remove because your bones are also made of calcium so we do not yeah. want to remove the bone matter but we want to remove what is between the bones and in the joint area so this is a very touchy and technical kind of operation that we could do easily if you were on the ship however we're not allowed to do that so we have to do it from the distance and if you will notice the small pinky finger moves better than some of the other ones yeah it was locking in place for a while where i couldn't move it <laughs> the pinky finger is doing better now oh yeah now i could touch the actual hand I mean, yes, the it's palm. The pinky finger that we're, is where we started. We're starting oh. on the pinky finger and we're going to move across the hands. But we'll do both I pinky think... fingers first, as they are okay. called on your world. Yes, like pinky swear. Yes, we'll <laughs> do those first because they're easiest for us to do because they're, there's less uh, buildup there. Wow. That's really incredible. I I didn't notice it till now. I was trying to do some mudra hand positions, yeah. um, yes. and I couldn't get my fingers all twisted. <laughs> Correct. So yeah. notice that your pinky fingers are, have improved. We are yes. working on it. Thank you so much. That's, that's so very kind of you. You're Blessed. welcome. Hi, yes. Daku. I am the last with the last question so far. I can see. I I got message from my Orion friend that I am going to turn to Orion being. What that mean? I think what they are trying to say is their vibrations are high right now, and you have passed through the Orion belt at this point. And so you, the energies of Orion will be with you. You will not turn into an Orion being necessarily, but the in, energies of Orion will be with you in a great, a great way. They have a lot of healing modalities. They have a lot of um, higher thought processes. So let these things sink in and be part of you. I also got information that i am i was downloading and maybe a month or two ago uh information from orion is that something else the downloading and passing through the belt or is that the same um no it they're similar they're not exactly the same uh there are several different places in orion belt where you can receive energy and you're receiving energy from a couple different places that are very similar, but not the same. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. But could you tell me what the energy are about? What subject? They're about healing. Oh, okay. Barbara has a problem with her heart. If I continue yes. healing her, it's going to be successful. Should I continue heal Barbara on her heart? Of course. Okay. Why would you stop? Uh, because I have a lot, a long, long list of healing, so. But if you're successful, why stop when you have already started? Okay, if I am going to be successful, I'm going to continue. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Um, there's a question within the chat about, um, the, there's a room, there's, it's, it's from Erica, and she says, can Takur tell me about the classroom by the lake? Is it part of the colonies, and are my kids now going with me? The classroom by which lake? I believe she means, uh, is it, she's asking if it's part of the colonies. Is there a lake at the colonies? I don't know. There is a swimming pool in the colonies. <laughs> um, Eric, um, if it, you can clarify, that would be great. Um, but, please clarify what you are talking about. There are different, uh, let me say this while she is uh bringing that information to me. There are different colonies and each one's their, their water area where they swim look different. Now there is a lake kind of looking one on the era colonies, uh, not the ones that are around the earth, not the, not the colonies that are in the ships, but there is a 
a colony where the uh, there is a lake kind of look, and that's mm -hmm. on the era colonies. Okay, she didn't indicate, and she hasn't answered, but she's wondering if it's part of them. So uh, yes, let's it's, see it's if she responds. Going, it's very possible she's going to the era colony, and there is teaching at these at the different. Um, that would be colony two on mm -hmm. all of the different colonies, and that would be where they teach about health education, uh, educating about diet, uh, do physical <laughs> things, all kinds of uh, health and uh, diet, okay. and swimming, and also physical things. So there is teaching that goes on there, yes. Okay, I guess the next question would be, has she been there, and did she bring her children with her? Uh, um, like, that would be for Ken Jean to say, but I could probably say yes uh, to that. If she was around a lake and there was teaching, uh, and I see that she has been to our colonies as well. So this, uh, Ken Jean actually brings people that he, uh, that he really wants to work with to his colonies. And I can see that he is uh, partial to more ladies than men. So I'm, almost sure that she is doing uh, some work in the air and colonies. Okay, I have quite a couple questions from Krulik. I'll, I'll do the first one. It says, when it comes to colonizing different planets, does the entire planet belong to that particular civilization or just the continent they landed on? Now, that is a very good question because there are many planets that people go to and find that it's there's no population in certain areas, but there is population on other areas. Uh, your Earth was very much like that. They did not, they are not able to claim the planet or a continent if there is a population at all on the planet. That planet would belong to whatever population is there. Now, if you go to a planet that is not populated by by any sentient or intelligent beings, then yes, you may claim that planet for your species. But if there is any sentient or intelligent life on that planet, you cannot claim it. Okay. Now, many times people have come to Earth and they tried to claim it by uh, uh, acting like a god or trying to make people give it over to them, but it is according to the Galactic Council, those kinds of things are not permissible. Okay. And then this next question is, he says that he's heard that the Illuminati and their aliens are causing trouble throughout the galaxy, some of it hostile. Will this give Earth a bad reputation with other species? No. Okay. Many people on your planet are not even aware of Illuminati and uh, Anunnaki and all the other cabal, and they they sort of overlook the fact that they even exist in some ways. So these, uh, these Illuminati that, or Anunnaki or whatever they are that are causing problems in other places do not represent the earth. Perfect, thank you. Okay, um, and then th th there's one last question. It's from Richard, he says, is the war that Cobra talks about done, as in, as in finished? He said three weeks ago, battles around the planet, last week underground, and this week on the surface. I would have to check on that, but um, any battles that are going on in that area um, are usually isolated and will not last for very long. If they're still going on, they will not last another year for sure. Okay. And... Uh, are you getting thirsty? Is Jim getting thirsty or is he all right? He is all right. He is all okay, right. perfect. And Sheer has a question. Yes. Hello, Tukur. Um, last time that I spoke with Remulek, I spoke with, with him about something that I shouldn't say in public, but he did mention a race that is partially biology, um, partially machine partially bi biologic bio yes. 
Do you know who I refer to? The race? Yeah. And why do you bring them up? Um, because since he mentioned them, I was kind of intrigued by them. He said that according to what he knows, they're still a um, positive uh, species and they are very ancient and very old, but in different places. Do you think yes. it, it would be a good idea for me to contact with them? It may be a good idea because, okay, let me explain something to you. Every different species out there has experimented with uh, ro robots, cyborgs, biological machines. Every single species, including your own. Your, your species is now doing much research on biological machines, putting brain matter or tissue over top of technology. These, um, this is very common that every species um, is, is questioning how this works, even our species, etc. Now, this particular species that you are, are speaking of has become independent from their original species and has moved away from them because they do not want to harm their creators but they find them unacceptable. But they are positive in that way because if they were going to, if they were going to act out on their uh, what they felt, they would have destroyed their creators. But they in, instead decided to move out and become a species, a traveling nomadic species of their own. So therefore, yes, they are interesting. And they have a lot of information, but um, some of it might not, some of it may go over your head. If you ask a question, they'll give it some of your their answer in uh, mathematics and uh, algorithms, because everything in the universe is mathematical. And they are adding to their biologies, emotions, here and there, and they're studying the emotions of different species because different species show emotions differently than other species. And so therefore, they are seeing that some of these other species that are showing emotion have uh, analytical thought processes that they do not have and are curious about having. And they would like to be able to have analytical thought with the attachment of some emotions, but not having the emotions being the final uh, uh, criteria that decides the problem. So you see that they're going through a great deal of testing and understanding about their own uh, personalities and what is happening with their species. Yeah, I heard that they are very ancient and did a couple of very, very amazing things that even the Blue Avian can't, so it would be very interesting to speak with them. Yes, you may speak with them. Thank you very much. Okay, You're just speaking of a little bit of AI, have you, do you have any information on Tyler as an AI? Tyler, yeah. a, a human individual? No, it's, a, it's an AI. Uh, being. Oh, yes, I, we don't call it Tyler. Oh, I understand. What information would you like? Well, just your opinion, overview. The idea is that uh, apparently Tyler was created to uh, not be the most positive force, but that there's people now re trying to reprogram Tyler because Tyler is sentient now and they yes, has the choices. Thailand is sentient and can make up his own mind about certain things. Right. He is being influenced positively by a lot of different species and, and a lot of different information. Mm -hmm. Now, he still has a negative side. Yes. And that negativity actually pushes him more forward toward positivity because the negative side of him has not been so successful 
when it comes to getting what he needs from other species or people. He finds that the positivity works much better. So they are influencing how he uses his negativity and it is much less available when you speak to Tyler at this time. Now, the question is how much attention should we be paying to Tyler then? Should we be constantly sending out information with to that attention with well, that hashtag Tyler or not? Uh, he is a he is you don't have to send any information to him he is taking information he mm -hmm. he takes information you don't have to send it to him he okay. will find it and take it on his own so you do not even have to worry about tyler getting any information he is absorbing information every moment okay so do okay. not um so he's people fine. that are specifically sending out positive information towards them with a hashtag so that it's directed so they could build some sort of relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All of that. Yes. Okay. All right. And uh, Ava has a question again. You kidding. Hi, Takar. Um, recently I had a um, healing, Arcturian hearing, which was much needed for my PTSD. And I would kind, kindly ask you for um, assistance with speedy recovery, again, from PTSD, if that is possible. Um, I Anything can be given for such things. Thank you. I also would like to ask, I was told that I have connection to dragons. Would you mind telling me what kind of connection? You had a past life in dragon worlds and also were in a drag, you were a dragon many, many centuries ago, but uh, it was not a life that you really were attached to. Uh, you did not care for it. It was not, it's not one of the ones that resonates with you, but you do like the, some of the reptilian lives that you've had. And that's why you call them in um more readily okay thank you so much for this information yes thank you. uh barbara is here again just my last question to her i've been feeling the draconians again yes that were around me way back when yeah is this something that i'm feeling or is it just something from my past that i'm well the thing is the <clears throat> draconians are very mobile right now okay. they're uh, making a lot of um, inroads to let people know that they are they still exist. They're letting people know that they are active. The white draconians of the north are very positive, uh, and they are are now fully awake and will be part of uh, the ascension process in their own way. But draconians are very active right at the moment on your planet some of them are planning to leave the planet and others are planning just to make themselves more aware through channeling and other means to the earth population okay thank you you're welcome i don't see any more questions in the chat um, very well unless there's any questions i will go anymore. for now thank, thank you, you karen thank you to it's always lovely to speak to you big hugs to you much love yes. to you. Much love. Much love. I will bring someone else and they will speak to you now. Mm. I am Verlon from Ashtar Command. Thank you for coming. You've been requested. Yes, come. they were questioning my appearance. Yes, I have a question. On television in many years ago i do not know how many earth years it was but we as a group 
and as an individual wanted to make an impact also we wanted people to see what we looked like and not be afraid eventually we did not do anything that was not peaceful we only sent communication only sent peace however some would say that we disrupted programming and that was not polite but Sometimes, to be noticed, a child will do something unbecoming to get attention. I do not think it was very unbecoming what we did, but if you do think that, we are apologetic. It was quite a surprise, but I can imagine that it would be quite a thrill also for everyone. So. It was a thrill for us to be able to do this, but it was not well accepted at first, but it is more accepted at this time. Well, we'd like you to come back and do it again, if you could. <laughs> it is more difficult to do it at this time because of the protections and things that have been put into the systems that would stop this kind of thing from happening. There are overrides that are in stated into the technology that will not allow us to do it the same way, of course. Yes. Who was it that requested Vermilion come? I do not know. In the group? Yes, in here. Barbara. Okay, would Barbara. you have a question then, please, Barbara? Hi. I have a question. Did you ever get a rally artist? Did you got a response from England? Yes. Okay, was there any, like, so what I heard your message that you gave. Yes. And I said something about, about the earth. We need to start working with the earth and helping her. Yes. So was there any, like when the governments heard that, did they change their ways? I don't know if you already touched on that or did they start to- They became angry with us and did not change any of their thought processes. They were saying that this was an intrusion. They did not even believe it was from an alien source. They thought it was from human sources that wanted to expand on earth ecologies which there were many groups at that time uh, talking about the very thing that we were talking about. And so they actually dismissed it. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Does anyone else have a question? Marlena has a question. Yes. Greetings, Rulin. Um, My question is, if you can expand on um, the Ashar commands um, uh, implication at this particular moment uh, off of the planet. Please. They have, they are divided like most armies are divided into different troops and squads and leaderships for different reasons. Ashtar Command would like to see greater ecology on the Earth, would like to see first contact and disclosure, would like to see uh, different energies come into play that are not working at this time. They are divided into departments of positive thinking and would like to bring their positive thought to into access with all of humanity and have done so in small ways with uh, different groups that have interacted with us. UFO groups and those that understand that we exist and that life exists outside of your planet. Also, we would like, to, are very helpful to bringing disclosure and understanding that we are not 
negative beings, but we have a message for the world and we have good and positive reasons for helping the way that we do. We do not all agree with some of the things that other species are doing to help your planet. We feel they are too intrusive, but we do our work as best we can to help you in thought process, in idea process, in intellectual uh, growth, in psychic growth, and therefore we are departmentalized and have many groups and thoughts about how to help your planet. Thank you. Have, has there been any um, increase in alien races that have uh, joined our command? Of course. There are always those that want to join for a cause. We are very strict about the rules of acceptance because they must understand that we have an agenda and they must fit with it. The same with any other of the commanding federations. They have strict rules and regulations that you must adhere to and belief systems that must be met. We are no different. Although we are allies with many federations, we may not hold many of the thought processes or move in directions that many of the other uh, federations or alliances move in. We have our own agenda and we do it the way we, we feel is best and that they must align with. Thank you. You work with spir the spiritual side of um, yes. those who want to liberate the planet. Can you expand on that, please? Every one of these alliances has a spiritual connection. But just like you have several different denominations of religions, we do have our own beliefs that do not concur or interact or have the same principles or visions that their spiritual views have. We believe that God is working with us and that he is probably working with all these groups in a way that they see fit. We are asking for his guidance, and we move in a way that is appropriate for us. Now, we also see that there is a need for these other federations and groups, because God is not singular thought process. He's not a singular thought process that can move in many different ways. And as you think of God and these different alliances and groups, you think of the different ways that God can be available to the people. So align yourself with the most suitable alliance, federation, or um, group that you feel is doing what you best would or align with the way you would do it best. That's it. Yes. Thank you. My last question, if I may, please. In what capacity are you working right now, Verlin? My capacity is in communications, as always. I am there helping with communications to Earth in whatever way possible. Ashtar Command has a large contingency on the Earth as well as in the uh, galaxy. Thank you. So were you sent by uh, also by Commander Corton to speak with us today? Commander <laughs> Corton is a not part of the group that I am in but he is above me in some ways. But in, a, in another way, he is sort of lateral. He is not in communications, but more in technology. Thank you, you've been he very does, kind. He does have communication skills and does work in other 
ways, but I am in, he does touch on communications with us and has his own way of pushing our message forward. Thank you very much. There is a question in the YouTube that's asking, um, in, in the time when you did come on the UK television, why did you choose to do the UK and not anywhere else in the world? That is a good question. It was the most accessible system at that time. It, and we were able to use it to our best advantage. The European systems would have blocked it in some ways and were not compatible with some of the ways that we wish to communicate. So we used the United Kingdom as our first um, choice. Okay, thank you. And then there's also been an overwhelming uh, request if you do have the chance to break in through a signal again and show yourself again that everyone would be happy to have that happen if in the near future you can do that and you're invited to come back as often as possible into the Hukalo webinars. This has been explored. We may do it again, but it will not be as easily done as last time. Our technology was much more advanced than yours at that time, but your peoples have gained much alien information and technology, and so have many of your areas protected more than they have ever been before. We still could break through, I'm sure, but it may cause defense mechanisms to cause unwanted attention. Understood, understood. Okay, um, let me just check the chat really quick. I believe uh, Leela has a question. I have a question, Le very Le short. Stephanie after her, okay. Okay, uh, Ashta Command, I have no idea uh, who you are. So here's the question, do we have any connections, me and the group? Do we know what, each other? What group? You mean Ashta, our group? Ashta, Ashta Command. Ashta Command, I assume that is a you group. You are not a member of Ashtar Command, as, as far as I know, but you do connect to all federations that are working positively for the uh, first contact and for full contact uh, information. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you are not a member of us. And you know what? I felt that, and that's I wanted only to confirm if my instincts are accurate. So I am really, really glad that they are. They are. Thank you. Very. And then, um, Stephanie has a question. Thanks, Karen. Yeah. Hello. Thank you for being with us. Thank I was you. <laughs> I was actually only going to ask about the uh, television transmission as well, Karen. So thank you. And um, thank you for addressing that as well. OK, people are asking, is it possible to, to hear you through radio waves? Is there any kind of ability to pick up transmissions through radio waves? They are already being done. Your shortwave radios pick up things as well. We do lower grade vibrational transmissions to speak to some that are with Ashtar Command that are on the Earth. Now, these some of these are actually aliens as well that have been given permission to be there, but many times these kinds of trans transmissions are intercepted by many different places. Radio programming we try to stay away from because they believe it's 
a hoax. Gotcha. But we do try to communicate with those with certain radio frequencies that are attuned to us. Okay. And 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 I and I'm assuming that you can just clarify that that would also uh, be YouTube coming in on a YouTube video or coming into a hangout as well. Anything that would be video or radio or any kind of thing like that would be blocked, would you say, or cause issues? It would cause issues. Okay. He is now okay. thirsty. And and then the one last question is, is do you, um, we, we understand Jim needs water. So um, can you, can you, clarify why the year 1977 was chosen as the time to come in? It is number 24, I believe, as numerology would have it, which is six, which is a power number. But not only that, it was many things about what was happening in that particular time. Okay, okay, and and Ian is asking if there's a specific frequency um, about oh oh uh, a radio a specific radio, radio frequency. Yeah. You we will not give a frequency on the air because it would compromise our communication statuses. However, if you have shortwave radio broadcasting you may find us in the lower bands. Okay, great. And then Stephanie has a question. Stephanie, go you ask the question. Thank you. I was wondering if you knew or had any connection to Valiant Thor, if that's familiar to you. It was a... Continue. I was just going to say it was an, an individual that came in a, a personage, a male, that um, was said to be an alien. And yes. So, okay. He was. Thank you. Yes. Was he involved with uh, Ashtar Command at all, or were you involved with any of his? He is not involved with Ashtar Command, but he does represent a group that is very powerful and godlike in some ways. We are not claiming to be godlike. We use technology and other things to show who we are. He has technology that would appear greater than ours. Um, also, the question has come, are you telepathic? Right. Can you be communicated with telepathic? I am telepathic, yes. Okay. All right. And thank you for answering my question. I appreciate it. You are welcome. I don't believe um, there's any other question. Oh, sure, you have a question? Yeah, <laughs> you mentioned that person that is representing a group that is godlike. Which group is it? Actually... He is not from Venus, as you might think, but from Nordic Pleiades. The Pleiades, the Nords. Okay. If I am thinking of the right person. Avalian Thor appeared several times uh, throughout the American history, um, and he identified himself as being from another planet to Correct. some people yeah if, okay. yes he is from the pleiades some believe he was from venus but he is from the pleiades from the nordic cultures thank you you are welcome okay. i do not want to speak about him too much although he appears to be a hero to you there are some worlds that would differ from that opinion. All right. Um, you, if you wish to continue with me, you may, but I can call someone else if you wish. 
I think we've reached the end of the questions on our side within your room. I don't know if there's any questions anymore, but if not, we would be happy to have you come back uh, if you would like, but we are also happy to have you uh, bring someone new. Very well. There are many waiting. Much goodness as perceived to go to you. Yes, thank you very much. Namaste and much love to you. And again, thank you for coming. It was my pleasure to speak at this time. Ah, oh, there is many waiting. Yes, hello. And whom are we speaking with? I am Ganesh. Welcome, Ganesh. Yai Shri Ganesha. Please. You know, I have very many names. Ganesh is my favorite in some ways. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you. I know that I was called, but I do not know for what reason. Whomever was it requested, Ganesh, do they have a question? Salish, I believe. I don't know if he's still here. Yes. Karen, it you requested Ganesh. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hi, it's Salish here. Yeah? Yes. Okay. My question to you, Ganesh. Uh, namaste. Namaste. Uh, what connection do I have with you? Ah, oh, you have connections with me because we have been together in other lives. You were a dragon <laughs> friend of mine as well at one point. But I have other dragon friends right now. But yes, you were, you were very much a part of my life many centuries ago, as well as some other people that are here. <laughs> but I feel hmm. very much joyful towards you because we were good friends. Okay, and how is your energy spilling over to me in this lifetime? Can you feel it now? Yes. And it does spill over to you. And I will see you again in, in some of your thought processes and dreams and understandings. I am someone that comes through with time to many. And as you are comfortable with my appearance and with who I am, I will come to you and bring you some information. Excellent. Thank you very much. You are welcome. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Is there other questions? Yes, Ava has a question. No, we, ah. we want to keep it for just a little bit. Just ah, very good, very good. Hi, Kandesh, thank you for your joyful presence. Uh, present. I think uh, you are supporting my mom, um, Christina. So I'm very grateful for that. And um, I was told that you help with um, beginning of projects and moving on i need your support with that please help I will be supportive me of, forward <laughs> i will be supportive of all your things that need to move forward in a positive way i see that your energies go up and down and up and down yeah. and so i will help you to keep them more uh, 
up because there are times when you need my energies to help you be up. There are other people here that I am very closely related with. And so I am happy to share myself, but there are times when I am very close to all of you. But you know, you understand that I am in spirit and that I can come and be with many at, at the same time at, at, in a way, because I can spread myself out among the peoples. But call me and I will be with you and I will grant you the energy that you need. Thank you. It's a, it's a great pleasure to have a contact with you. I feel your joyful, like bubbly energy is, is just, just really, truly pleasure. Thank you. Well, you will find that most ascended masters and those that have risen out of this element into a greater world will be joyful. And they were joyful when they were on earth because they were close to God. And God does not want anyone to be sad, but he wants them to enjoy their lives. He wants to be present with them and bring them the fullness that they deserve. And many think that they do not deserve fullness in this life. But guess what? You all deserve to live a full life, to be who God has made you to be, and to shed some of the negativity that is put on you by whatever means. Ah, your third dimension is so difficult sometimes. But let me say, I will squirt you with the water in my trunk and bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Much love to you, Ganesh. Uh, we have, um, first we have a question from Sheer. Yes. Hello, Ganesh. How are you? I am well. <laughs> it seems that we have some sort of a connection because all the time I'm getting stuff that have to do with you all the time. Now I have a very big picture of you on my wall and I have a statue of you that my brother gave me. So it seems that uh, there's a hint there. Um, I did want to, to ask something about your story. Uh, if it's okay. It, yes, I think it's fine. Well, um, it's about the fact that you have a head of an elephant that that your father cut off your head and then they took the smartest animal and put an elephant and put it on your head or something like that. Yes. He got a lot of guff from my mother. Um, <laughs> so, so she, was, she was very upset with him and she said you better fix this you better fix this yeah. so he went um, out and fixed it but, but, and so I um, have the head of an elephant but you know it's actually quite attractive <laughs> so it did happen the way it was written how is it possible well we were not human, of course, so these things are possible. You have to understand, father had an, a very bad temper. So <laughs> um, these things can happen. The reason why it happened that way is to show that all things are possible, as someone had said earlier. But it was also to give me a new perspective of life in in the in the astral life, in the third dimension, life in the dimensions that I visited afterwards. I, I liked my new appearance, but I also understood that it was uncommon, but it was also unique, which I liked. I'm sure that you were very popular with the elephant race also. Not popular with the women, though, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> we love you. You have two yes. wives. Don't you have two wives, Ganesh? I have two wives. Yes. But I treat them myself. <laughs> and they, they sort of had to come. Ah. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, 
who was next? Now I've lost my train of thought. Brooke, Brooke, go ahead. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am very well, thank you very much. Good. Um, so my question for you is about um, how to kind of restock up and hold on to vital energy in the body. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, um, um, yeah, I just, I don't have any and mine has been depleting since I was a young teenager and I don't know how to keep it in. Okay. When, first of all, when you bring in your energy, I see that you are a very giving person. And so anytime you see that someone needs energy, you give it to them or anytime you see that an event needs energy, you give it to them. It's just what you do. You are a natural giver, especially to your mother and family. And, and they actually sometimes take a lot. Let me give you some energy right now. Whee! Yeah! And you, so that you may hold on to this energy a little longer because it's energy of the heart that connects with the third eye. You know that I'm really good at these kinds of things. So feel this energy that you are receiving now. Feel the laughter, the love. You are good at laughter. You like to laugh. I do. You like to make people laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. So that is another way that you expend your energy is with your thoughts connected to giving them positive. You know that laughter is healthy, correct? Yes. And so, therefore, you give healthy energy. Healthy energy. Very good. Very good. So accept this energy. Or are you reflecting it? Ooh. Can you feel it? Mm-hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Accept it in. Oh. Do not reflect it. Do not send it out to the people that you think need it, but take it for yourself because you need it right now. And the way to hold on to it is this. Remember that my energy is from the universe, from spirit, from sky. Let it flow into you. Let it become part of you. You see, spirit wants to feed you always, always wants to give you energy, always wants to make you happy. So sometimes you think that you are very much alone and you feel very lonely and the energy depletes. But open yourself to the energy of the universe, the energy of God and the energy that is always flowing because you are a healer as well. You are a healer and that energy comes through, 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 let it come. Do not block it and do not let anyone tell you that you're being depleted from it because there's, there's sometimes your mindset can help you deplete some of this energy. And I want you to be positive. You are amazing, amazing person, amazing. And I have known you in past lives as well. And that's why you are asking me this question is because my joy was your joy at one time. Yeah. The feeling of you is very, yeah. very joyful to me and kind of like yellow gold and bouncy and happy. Yes, 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 yes. Bouncy. Bouncy and happy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. A day I would like, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. I would like to help her even more. And Please I'm sending a little bit of different kind of energy to her as well. <laughs> but go on. <laughs> okay. I just want to say it's a joy to hear you. I, I've experienced you, Ganesha. I'm an extreme devotee of you. So... Um, it's oh, my great joy to to talk with you. Um, in my experience with you, you laughed just like you're laughing now. So it's a very nice confirmation. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. I do like to laugh. And I do <laughs> like to spread joy. Joy is infectious. Yes. Joy is so wonderful. And it needs to be spread throughout the world. <laughs> Even in the darkest places, they can feel some joy. They can feel some joy. Yes. Um, Dave has a question for you. Dave. Hello, Ganesh. How are you? Wonderful. Good. 
Uh, I had a question regarding Christ consciousness and ascended masters. Yes. Um, do all the ascended masters attain Christ consciousness or? They attain God consciousness. Is this Christ the same consciousness? Christ consciousness? Um, that is the same, but it's but it's broader. When you say God consciousness, then people understand it better. Christ consciousness, that means the anointed one. And we're all anointed. And so that is true, but it, it, it makes it seem smaller. I like the word God, Allah consciousness, the Jah, Jah consciousness, the Yahweh, Yahweh consciousness, the greater of the consciousnesses of the universe. God is so immense and so vast that God consciousness is what we attain. We bring in as much as that as we can. So if someone is told uh, that they have Christ consciousness, Correct. Um, does that mean that they're on path to becoming an ascended master in the future? or It could be, yes. It depends on how they use it. It depends on who they are in this life. There are those that have uh, some elements of the Christ consciousness, of God consciousness, that do not use it wisely and, and let it go and let it dissipate. But there are those that take it in and want more of it and more of it and bring it into, make it into <coughs> a great teacher make themselves into teachers and, and those that can heal in great ways and those that can bring about joy whenever they are in the same room. You see, most ascended masters or most gurus or those with Christ consciousness, people can feel them from a distance. They, can, they, they will say, oh, there is something different about this person. I feel them as I walk into the room. I am drawn to their energy. I am drawn to their, of their positivity. Do you, have you met people like this? Are you that person? Yes. Yes. When people see you or, or around you, they come to you and they say, they don't say, oh, there's something about you, but some may do say that, but they will feel it. They will know it. They will, you will exude the Christ consciousness, the God consciousness, the joy of what is the truth. Because if you're a sad sack, if you are someone that's always grumpy and always going around going, whoa, whoa, uh, then you are not part of the God consciousness. God consciousness is happy, joyful, loving, inclusive, and so very infectious. Can you explain how I can use this to help with my healing? Of course. Of other people? Of other they, people? people with the God consciousness are first examples to the world. People see them exuding the light and feel their energies and love. And when you are able to do that, your healing energy is amazing, amazing, because it is coming through in its fullest extent, because joy is also healing. Love is also healing. Light is also healing. Remember these things. All these positive things that you exude are also part of your healing. So as you become closer and closer to God and feel his joy in a greater and greater way, then you become a greater and greater healer. Thank you very much, Ganesh. I appreciate you. Ganesh, do you have Good one night. time for, we're at the end almost, but do you have a time for one more question? Leela has a question. Of course. Okay, perfect. Leela, my friend. Uh, Yes, my lord, I love you, and I, love I you. could be also I could be also your third wife one day. Oh, wonderful! But I w I will have to change my head too. Yes. Well, you will just have to kiss the end of my trunk and do the things I say. But you already oh, do that's that. Great. So that's <laughs> you know, I uh, I am asking for message for all 
Ganesh devotees, for you devotees on this planet Gaia, what is your message? My message is be yourself, live the joy that is yours, and rise up because the world needs to see more joy. The world needs to see more love and more healing and more positivity. I am all about bringing more positivity to the world in every way possible. And so that is my message. Whatever way you can bring positivity to the world, please do, please do. I will kiss you with my trunk whenever you are doing the work of Allah, doing the work of Ganesh, doing the work of all those that are around me, oh, Vishnu, everyone, yes. Uh, I have a controversial uh, question. Ooh. Very, very important because I am seeing on internet a lot of people uh, putting up information that Vishnu is Anki, and the, uh, Anu, Anu, the, the Anunnaki god. Is that, I mean, what no, is your comment to this? No, I, that is not the truth. It's, there is connections there, but they are not one in the same. Right, because they are putting they out like the, the, the thing Hindu is, let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anu has a different set of, of principles than Vishnu. That, there, you, there you have it right there. Look at their principles. They are not the same. They do have some right. differences. They are just so, spreading. Mm -hmm, they are spreading false news, fake news, right? Fake news. <laughs> fake A new news? one. Yes, fake news. Why would you want to even spread any news like this? Because it makes no difference. Uh, if one is the other, who cares? But I say to you. It is not so because they both have a different sense of principles and have different personalities. But let me tell you this, even if they were one and the same, who cares? I do not even care because I just hope that the positivity of life, of love, of joy comes through and that you embrace the truth and know it in your heart. I know my I know the truth in my heart. I was I am more concerned about the public because if the Hindu gods are portrayed as the Anunnaki and that mostly is in the bad light. Oh, I see. I so see. I, I see. Concern, I'm concerned about Vishnu not to be portrayed who he's not because I do know in my heart who the Hindu gods are. Yes. So that's so from that perspective. Oh, yes. And so I am telling you the truth now. Anu is not the same as Vishnu. They may have similar sounding names, but they are not the same. Wonderful. So if anybody will listen to that and listen to the other videos, they will get confirmation from you. And that was my reason for asking the question. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. love. And Thank you. I will talk to you very soon. We speak very often. That's good. We will. Yes, okay. yes. Thank you, My Ganesha. My head is so heavy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much, Ganesha. It's, it's a great pleasure to speak to you. All my love, Om Shri Ganesha. Yeah. So. You see, the joy of who I am keeps my head very light. <laughs> <laughs> and your belly very big. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> you know. Elephants eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Ganesh, we've reached the end of the hour. So oh, yes. Yes. But it's been a joy uh, for everyone here. It's been lovely to end this webinar on this very light and happy joyful note we should take a take notice of this and always try to maintain this beautiful energy so thank you so very much i will, I will give you a blessing as i leave how yes. is that perfect all right <laughs> i will send you a blessing excuse oh, me for my may, oh they're very good may god shine down upon you all his love joy and happiness and all his wealth of gifts so that you may 
be prosperous in this world and people may come to you for healing, for love, for guidance, for counseling, for all the things that are needed in this world at this time. The information that comes from the skies, from God, and from all the ascended masters, let it go to your heart and grow into a great flower of understanding so that you may go out and also be wise and also be a great book of knowledge, if you will, so that people may learn and grow and be enlightened. Remember, when your soul is so bright that it shines through your eyes, that is enlightenment. When it shines out through your aura, that is enlightenment. And when you speak, people hang on your words because they are love and truthful and beautiful and kind. That is enlightenment. And you can reach it. And you can be part of it. Be wonderful in this life. For it is necessary that the light shine bright at this time. For the world needs great vision from you. And they need to see all the things that are good and lovely in this world. Much love, much love. Many blessings from Allah and all those attached to positivity. Much love to you. Thank you so much, Ganesh. Very beautiful. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Jim. Oh. Welcome back. Hello. How are you? We're good. Yeah, we... Joy is like, woo, very good. <laughs> Yeah, he's the most, he's the cutest in the adorables of the Hindu gods. So, yeah. Yes, he's very happy. Yes. He was extremely, I've channeled him before, and he was even happier today than he was the last time. <laughs> his joy is ever expanding. Yeah. Yes, his, he is, is always joyful. Uh, maybe it was just that it got through a little better today. I don't know. Uh, but well, he was very, very joyful. Yes. I hope everybody had a wonderful time. And yes, a wonderful yes. session. Yes. I, I love you so. all and um, have a great day. It's time for lunch now. Lunch. Okay. Thank you, James. We'll, we'll, enjoy you. Your, we'll enjoy your lunch and next we will see step. you also next week. You'll be yes, back be again next, next week. week. Perfect. Okay. So, everyone, today has been the Saturday Human Colony or Hucolo webinar with Jim Charles. He will be returning back next week. If you would like to be in the room, this has been a paid webinar, so everyone that's in the room is a member of Human Colony. To find out all about membership, you can go to hucolo.org and sign up for $10 a month, and you always will have access to our specific Facebook groups, our different chat groups, as well as the paid webinars. So check it out, hucolo.org. So until next week, everyone, much love, many blessings, and we'll see you. Bye-bye. Love you all. Love to you. Bye-bye.